Hello, it's Christy here, and today we're going to build a website right inside of Canva. And this is not going to be a full out website like you might see on WordPress, but just a simple website that if you're short on time or you just want to have get a basic website up, this is going to be the best way to do that. So once you are inside your dashboard in Canva, you're going to press this button that says create a design and just go ahead and type in website. Now I'm gonna go ahead and click on that and that's gonna create a new document that is in the right dimensions for this. And you can name it, whatever, my website. All right, now on the left side, you'll see here uh, there's different styles that you can choose from. So what I would do before you even get started, just get all your basic information together that you wanna include on your website. Um, whether that be uh, the colors, uh, the fonts, uh, any kind of uh, specific information that you want to have, uh, whether it's for your products. If this is like a portfolio, you want to have the pictures that you want to have on there and your references. So just the gathering phase, I like to call it, of getting your information all together. Assuming you have done that, then go ahead and uh, choose a template. I'm just going to click on this one here. And when you click on a template, it's going to have any number of pages. This one has five pages, but you can decide which pages you wanna use. So it works in sections with the website. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And that is gonna add that page to our website. And then when you wanna add another section, just click add page. And then we can add this next page in and then so on and so on. I'm just gonna add all of them in. You can always go back and change one of the pages, delete one of them, add a new page. It's totally up to you as to what you wanna do with it. But this is how you add those pages or sections in to the website. All right, so then you have, let's see, one, two, three, four, looks like five sections in this website. So now you're gonna go in and customize it to how you like it. You may like the colors on this the way at that it is, or you may want to adjust it to something a little bit different. Now this has here on the left, it'll show you what the fonts are and it has the color palette. But if you're maybe not feeling it, you can switch things up a little. You can shuffle things around. Maybe you prefer a darker look. And you can always, let me see here, under design, under styles, you can go under styles and you can look through different color palettes. It takes these pictures from the page here and then it will provide you different image palettes. So there is one, you could shuffle that around, or if you uploaded a different picture, I'm gonna go ahead and do that here, just so you can see what I mean. Let's go to photos here. I'm going to pick a different photo. Let's see, I'm looking for something that's more like a headshot, just so I can demonstrate that to you. Okay, so I changed the photo. I found this one that has like purplish background. It's just brighter looking. So that way I could see what styles it comes up with. So I'm going to close out of that, go back to design and then styles and see now you see that picture that I just added in there. It now has a, an image palette that it came out with. And then I can shuffle these around. Then you see how it's bringing out colors that are in the photo. So that's pretty neat. So you can just play with that. And then, yeah, I think that one looks good. So then of course you can change this up to whatever your business is, my beauty company. So whatever you wanna add on there is perfect. And then you would do the same and you could change the background of the color if you want. I could always make that a different color. I like that this is the pink and then it alternates. So it has a little bit different feel to it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and leave things the way they are there. So you can change the font, you can add text, remove text, 
nothing is set in stone. Anything you put or that's already here can be edited to however you like. And this has a button here. So if you wanted, you can add a link to it and that's easy enough to do. Okay. So let's just say we've got all the pictures in here that we want. You've added your contact information. You may want to have a menu so that as someone is going through your website, they can always jump back to a certain page. So in order to do that, we want to click this button where it says notes. And this is where you would put the name of that page. So this first section is going to be the home page, right? And then I'll close that. So then that's going to name that page home. This will make more sense when I show you how the uh, menu works. And this would be, you don't have to name every section, but if there's certain sections like here, product, you probably want to be able to jump back to that products. All right. And let's see a customer or testimonials. We can call that testimonials. And then the last one was contact, right? So it's always important to have a contact page. Contact. All right. So now we've got our web pages looking the way we want. And then you can always add elements or you can animate things too, which is nice. This one has a breathe animation, but maybe you want something a little bit different. You can always change that up and you can do that with all the pictures. Give it a little pop, whatever you want to do. You can, once you're done here, you can preview it and then see how it looks and then see what you want to change. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and preview it. See what we have so far. All right. So we've got that home page. We've got our second and third, and you may want to have some contrast between sections because you see what I mean. It just makes it a little bit easier on the eyes as you're going through it. But that's something you can play with as far as the colors go. That one took a little long to, to come up, so I would probably change the animation on that. But that gives you the idea. Now, you'll notice at the top it says without navigation. So if I change this to say with navigation, now you'll see those, remember I named the pages with different sections. You have the home, products, testimonials, and contact, the ones that I had just added. So now when I click on products, it's going to jump down here to the product section. If I click on testimonials, it's going to go down to reviews and the same for contact. And then if I want to go back to the home, it's going to go back up here. So that's very helpful when you have a website that has a couple sections because then it makes it easier for someone to find what they're looking for. And then up here on the right, you can see what it's going to look on desktop. And then you can also see what it's going to look like on mobile. So if anything needs shifted around or looks funky, then you can move things around. So that way it looks good on mobile as well as on desktop. So everything, let's say, looks great. We're, we want to go ahead and publish this website now. And that is going to be this button here where you click publish website. And we're going to do it with navigation so that we can have, it can be easier for someone to find what they're looking for. And then you can choose whether you want to use a free, a free domain, which you get with Canva. You can purchase a domain through Canva, or if you already have an existing domain, like with GoDaddy, you can connect it, and then it'll just take you through a few steps in order to do that. And that will be nice if you can have your own domain because it just gives you more, it's, it's better for branding and makes it easier for customers to remember your website than a long Canva name. But that's totally up to you. And then I'm going to just say free domain and we're going to continue. And I have a Canva website domain and then the path on the end of it, I would just have as my whatever, whatever it is. This is what beauty website. Okay. And then you can add a description. And under advanced settings, 
you can, if you want it to be password protected, you can do that. You can have it searchable and you want there to be a link preview and that you will have that checked here. So then you would just click publish and then it's going to prepare your website and get ready to publish it. So yay, your website is now officially published and this is the domain for that website. You can always copy it and then save it somewhere where you'll find it easily or you could just click on view website here. So now here is the finished product of the website we just made. So you can go through and then take a look at it. I would also look at it on your own, on your phone. So that way you could make sure it looks good in both places. And again, we have our navigation sections here, and that's going to make it so much easier to find and go back to the sections that you need to be on. All right. So that is how you create, edit, and publish your own website in Canva. So if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Please be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. And I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial. All right. So thanks and have a great day.